All right, Pisces dealing with Scorpio. This is going to be a reading for you. It's going to be for November 6th through the 16th. Let's see what messages we have for Pisces dealing with a Scorpio placement. Thank you all for all your support. Um, I appreciate you guys so, so much. If you guys want a personal reading, information will be in the description box below. Um, with that being said, let's jump on into this. I'm going to try and get through all signs. We will see. <laughs> all right. So Pisces dealing with a Scorpio. Let's see what messages we've got for y'all. Hope everybody is doing well. Happy birthday, Scorpio. Are we still in Scorpio season? Yeah, we are. <laughs> I just drew a blank there for a moment. All right. Happy birthday, Scorpio. All right. So let's see. Messages for Pisces dealing with the Scorpio placement. So if you have it in your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus, North Node, this reading may resonate with you. So we got stop. Stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person. Just can stop, okay? So I don't know if this is for you, Pisces, or for Scorpio. Spend some time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. Damn. Burn. This is from the Rebel deck, in case any of y'all are wondering. These cards are a little bit feisty, but <clears throat> straightforward. So take the message if it applies. We're going to do some oracles to open up, and then I'll jump into your tarot and close it out with the oracles at the end so we got you look like a ish oh <laughs> that sounded bad you look like a shit show okay hot uh you're a hot mess fact clean yourself up so either you or scorpio could be like looking like a shit show especially if someone's obsessing stalking maybe go spend some time in the bathtub shaving them legs clipping them toenails okay we're getting cringy let's stop all right Pisces dealing with a Scorpio. What are the other messages that we've got for Pisces dealing with a Scorpio? Uh, time to let go. Move the F on. Damn. This is like coming out clear. Someone here. Uh... <sighs> One more. May need to let something go. Stop, stop worrying about someone. Stop letting someone live rent-free in your motherfucking mind, all right? You equals tight ass. Loosen the F up. Control freaks don't get none, okay? Don't get laid, all right? So stop trying to control the situation. If that is you or whoever is watching, I don't know. All right, so let's go to the Andromeda Skies next. What else do you want to tell Pisces? The ones that are dealing with the Scorpio. What is the energy for those? For the next 10 days. Four cards. This is just extra confirmation as to, you know, whoever situation I may be picking up on. We got, I need time. I want to work things out. So I feel like one of you may want to work something out. The other one may not so much, or at least not right this moment. Okay. Someone is saying, I need time. Maybe someone's saying, I, I need time to work things out. All right. You are the love of my life and I still have growing to do. So someone here may be like, I need time. I still got growing to do. I still got things I want to experience. Um, and the other one is like, you're the love of my life. I want to work things out. Baby, come back. And I'm not knocking anybody. Okay. Been there. Been there. Done there. But, you know, you can't force someone to be ready. If someone's not ready, you can't make them. Because ultimately, if you do that, then you're just going to end up breaking your own heart. Okay, so let's see. What is the hidden truth between Poishish and Scorpio? What is the hidden truth between these two? I replay our conversations over and over. I know I crossed the line with you. We will be together again. And I wonder if you are happy without me. Bottom of the deck, I left you before you could leave me. So that always makes me feel like someone here may have insecurities or... Um, I don't know. I feel like this is just like the timing isn't right for the two, but one may be having a harder time letting go of the other one. Like still, like I said, the best way I can sum it up is living rent free in someone's mind, you know? 
All right, so let's see. Let's get Pisces. Oh, there's my ring. I was looking for that. All right. <clears throat> All right, Pisces overall energy, please. First card out will be for Pisces. Keep in mind, energy can be reversed. So if you resonate more with this side and you're a Pisces, then flip the rules, okay? The reading can be reversed. Um, you guys use discernment on which side you're on, okay? But for the sake of me reading it, I always read Pisces on my left and the other person on the right, okay? So what is Pisces overall energy? What is Pisces overall energy, please? Okay, got too much lotion on my hands. All right, Pisces overall energy, please. What is Scorpio's? So, Pi oh, okay, bust now. In your own energy, Nine of Cups, Lower Arcana Pisces. So wishes coming true, your dreams becoming reality, a magical time of life, good fortune, and faith in the universe that all will be well. Page of Cups showing itself. Another Pisces energy. Make a wish. <laughs> all right, show me Scorpio's overall energy, please. Pisces energy again. Wow. The awakening card, major, major arcana here. It's like the hangman. A temporary pause for reflection and insight. An awakening where you can see things in a whole new light. Embrace your own uniqueness and charitable action. So Scorpio could be um I don't know. Going through some type of an awakening or a shift in perspective, maybe they're needing to shift their perspective. Maybe they're, you know, pulling back so that they can see things in a different way. Uh, Pisces with this nine of cups being out here. Um, there's something here that I feel like you've got going on that's making you very happy at this time. Let me keep going. Show me Pisces emotions. <clears throat> Pisces emotions. What is going on? Oh, oh, oh. All right, Pisces. So in your emotions, you got the seven of pentacles. Seeds well planted, efforts or investments that will be rewarded in the future. The need for patience, a time of resting and planning for the future. Unnecessary worry. So again, Pisces, there's something here that you've been working on. Okay, you may have been very patient. You may have planted some type of seeds. But with this Nine of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, it's like whatever it is that you've been working on or you've been patiently nurturing, you know, I don't know what aspect of your life, but I feel like this is bringing you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, wish fulfillment, or maybe this is some type of a wish. Like I said, make a wish. Maybe there's something here that you're trying to obtain, some type of wish fulfillment. And Spirit is telling you, be patient. Okay, whatever it is that you're working towards, it will pay off. Okay, Scorpio... In their emotions, they have the Ten of Swords. So the end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. The opportunity for new happiness, a weight off your shoulders, the end of an addiction, and a melodramatic reaction. So I don't know if this person is feeling betrayed. That's what it looks like. Um, I don't know why. You know, the hangman too can sometimes be a self-sacrificing energy. So if this person is the one that's like stop that needs to like I can't tell yet, but I would say just from this, I feel like um Scorpio could be the one that's having a hard time letting go. The awakening card is like there is some type of a shift in perspective, or this person is like pausing, reflecting. Um, maybe realizing, hey, something may need to end right now, or some, they could even be going through something on their own time, okay? You over here seem to be unbothered, kind of working on whatever it is that you're working on, some, but working towards some type of wish fulfillment, but there could be something going on with Scorpio where they feel, maybe they feel like they've gone through some type of an ending. It may not even have anything to do with you, 
uh, depending on the connection you share with this person. Maybe they're the ones that's like, I need more time. You know, uh, maybe they just went through something that was very painful in their life. Um, that they're still tripping off of or whatever. Okay. Show me, show me Pisces next move, please. Show me Pisces next move. Whatever it is, it seems painful, but it's also a relief. Okay. It's also a relief. Um, it can bring sadness, but it's almost like, okay, things are done. I can leave these 10 swords at the door. It's like someone, someone may have even moved or is packing or is in the middle of a transition leaving home or a residence okay show me pisces next move All right, show me Pisces next move, single cards. Show me Scorpio's next move. Okay, so Page of Wands. Um, <clears throat> there's something here that you're planning for, Pisces, with this Page of Wands. This is something possibly new. This is something exciting. Um, I don't know if you are reaching out to this person. That could be a thing. For some of you guys, this could be somebody who you may be flirting with. OK, or this is the beginning stages of something with someone who may be in the process of letting something else go so that they can come into a union. OK, two of cups. <laughs> so Pisces, your next move, page of wands, enthusiastic, optimistic, creative and patient news of exciting opportunities, allowing your creativity to soar, do things that fill your passions and finish what you start. So there's something here that I feel like you're working on, you're planning for, and it's something pertaining to a wish or something that you want um yeah scorpio's next move is the two of cups so falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship forgiveness and the ending of challenges exchanging gifts and don't give up on the people that you love so with their next move this person may be like This would be coming into a union or two people being brought together. This could be the resurgence of a relationship. For some of you, this may not even be romantic. This could be platonic, okay? Friends or what, whatever. But this kind of, to me, looks romantic. But um, you are the love of my life. I want to work things out. Oh, yeah. Someone here may, I wonder if you're happy without me. I don't know. That could be you, Pisces. You may wonder if this person's happy without you. I would say no but they may be going through something, some type of an ending that they need more time. We'll be together again. Oh, this is kind of cute. Okay, show me Pisces intentions. What is Pisces intentions? What is Pisces intentions? Four of Wands, oh, okay. So some of you guys could be planning for a new home or a marriage or again, a union. <clears throat> this talks about like coming together, uni unity. Uh, so much to celebrate, send gratitude to the divine and to the angels for the peace and prosperity coming to you. Peace and contentment in your personal life. You know, Four of Wands is twin flame. This is also home. So if this is what you're investing into or you're working towards, be patient. That will come. Or something that is stable, secure, long-lasting, happy family, celebrating. Hmm. Show me Scorpio's intentions. I see Scorpio's intentions, please. The Knight of Pentacles and the Sun. So this person is also wanting to work towards some type of happiness, growth. Um, yeah, but there's something here that they're trying to balance out. This person's also trying to heal. Um, 
They could be trying to balance out their finances too. I've seen the Five of Wands, Five of Pentacles earlier. And it's like some type of conflicts, disputes over money, maybe even assets or home. There could be a financial um, change in circumstances. With this Nine of Pentacles, this person may be, their intentions is also, the Nine of Pentacles is like, this is also planning. Um, it's slow. It is reliable, loyal, dedicated, protective, apprehensive. Plan carefully before taking action, but then get going. Pay attention to the details. Wait for the perfect timing and a guardian angel or someone who watches over you. And that's crazy because literally Scorpio got this. So it's like, um, wait for the perfect timing. And that's what this is. This is pausing, reflecting. Again, coins falling out of this person's pocket. Like I said, this person may have lost something, you know, in regards to a financial thing um, or assets or something, or they may be trying to recover something where they need more time. But it says a guardian angel or someone who watches over you live like legitimately. So um, this person's intentions, I feel like they're just kind of I don't know this. It's not telling me too much of what happened, but when it comes to this person's emotions, they got the 10 of swords. That's like something here has ended or there's some type of a pain or a betrayal or a backstabbing or it. 10 of swords can be a divorce, a separation. It can also be like uh, bankruptcies, shit like that. So uh, let's see what the outcome is for the next 10 days. And this is just for the next 10 days, y'all. But I do feel like this person is planning on taking action or coming into union. It's just something here is moving very slowly. This person's money may even be moving slowly, and that could be a factor as well. Show me the outcome. Between Pisces and Scorpio. The dreamer, so strong Pisces energy in this reading. <clears throat> we also have Earth. We got all signs. Okay, so outcome, the dreamer, which talks about a fresh start. Again, the guardian angel is there watching as well. Okay, a new start. Trust yourself, push your fears aside, and take that leap of faith. So here within the next 10 days, somebody maybe, you know, taking that leap to go towards their wish fulfillment. Pisces, you got the Nine of Cups over here. Maybe you're the Scorpio's wish fulfillment. Maybe you're both people's wish fulfillment. What did I see? Oh, no. Yeah, I didn't look at this before, but on the bottom of the other deck, um, we got, I pulled away because I'm overwhelmed with all the things going on in my life. And that's that hangman. It's like someone's reflecting and the Ten of Swords is like, I do feel like this person is planning on coming, to un coming into union, but they feel like they need more time or something's moving slow. All right, show me the outcome here between Pisces and Scorpio. Just be patient, Pisces. This Nine of Cups, Page of Wands, Four of Wands, it's coming, but there's a need for patience as well. I mean, if you want it, Five of Pentacles. So negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges, fears surrounding money, reach out to others for assistance, poor timing for becoming self-employed. So again, like I said before, I feel like there could be some type of a financial uh, hiccup here, okay? I don't feel like it's on your side. I feel like it's on Scorpio's, but uh, yeah, I could be wrong. The moon and the knight of swords. So listen to your intuition. Pay attention to the signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears. Revelations that will make everything clear. And then you have the knight of swords. Decisive, focused, driven, defensive. Events that move with great speed. Choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional Sudden or unexpected changes, review your options carefully. Okay, so there, there's some things like I feel like with this moon card coming out, there's things here that, you know, isn't quite clear. Um, but I do feel like there is some type of communication coming in that could clear some things up. There could also be some type of sudden or quick changes that partake. Um
Yeah, I feel like someone has some type of fear surrounding like lack or fear surrounding money. Again, this can talk about push your fears aside. The moon also can symbolize fears. Right in between that is financial lack. So show me the outcome, please. Eight of Cups. Hmm. Mm, I see what's going on. So this Scorpio, I don't know if they are with somebody else. Or it could be a living situation for some. But I feel like someone here has fear surrounding money. Now the Nine of Swords is like taking quick action, a quick arrival, a quick departure. The Eight of Cups is some type of movement as well. Walking away from a situation, at least... You know, emotionally going through that door, going towards what? The Nine of Cups. You have the Nine of Cups in your energy. So I feel like that whoever this person is, they may have fear surrounding money. Money may be coming in slow. Something here is very painful for this person. When it comes to their emotions, something here is very painful for them. But with the Awakening card, it's like they're going through some type of a period of realization they may be pausing and reflecting before actually taking action because whatever action it is that they are going to take, it's going to, it's not easy. Okay. They may need to walk away from something else emotionally. Hence the stop, text, stop, mm. stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person, just F and stop. And then time to let go. Yeah. This person may be, you know, needing to let go of some things, you know, I don't know if it's another person. I don't really see anybody else out here, but I do feel like someone needs to like, this could even be walking away from family or friends or mindsets or lack mindsets or fear or whatever. It's like somebody needs to detach from something and it's not easy in order to come into this union to have something stable and long lasting. I don't know if this is someone who you're talking to, you're communicating with. I'll be sure to hit that like button if this reading is resonating with y'all. Let me know in the comments down below what y'all think. Show me the dreamer. Show me the dreamer. Ooh, ten of swords. New start. Trust yourself. Push your fears aside. Take that leap of faith. There's something here that needs to come to an end for something new to start. It's just, just, it's just that on that. Knight of Cups. Yeah, it's like the block here. Okay. What is this Ten of Swords, I wonder? Why is it so painful? Whatever is going on. What is the Ten of Swords spirit? I'm just seeing the Fool card, seeing that Knight of Cups. It's like all signs point to taking that leap of faith to come and express it emotions or to start something but something needs to end what needs to end the sun card leo energy showed itself temperance sagittarius there goes scorpio on the bottom hmm, what needs to end this could be a divinely guided ending or someone's angels or guides could be trying, like, what is this? Someone just needs to heal. I, Like I said, I don't see another person here. I feel like somebody just needs to fucking heal. Straight up. Like, somebody's still hung up on, a, on an ending or a betrayal or... And maybe rightfully so. I'm not here to judge, but that, you know, that's what it's saying. It's like someone here just needs to heal from whatever this is so that this new beginning can, can happen. You can't force healing either. I feel like we're always healing constantly. 
but from whatever this is, it could have been very fucking painful. And someone maybe having a hard time getting over it is what it looked like up here in the oracles. So whatever Scorpio went through, I don't know if it was with you. It could have been, but I, I don't know. Um, but I feel like this person... Yeah, and that could be the hangman too. It's like shift your perspective. You know, sometimes things end very painfully, but it's actually for our protection. Literally, like it's saying it here too. Something's ending for someone's protection. So it's like have that hangman energy, that shift in perspective. Try to see things from a, see the glass is half full, not half empty. You know, it's not always easy. I know when I went through some shit, I, you know, it's like going through the stages of, of hurt, pain, obsession, anger, guilt, then uh, I kind of started seeing like, oh, I see why that happened. And then over a long course of time, the resentment, the pain slowly started to fade because I actually realized that that was actually better for me, even though I couldn't under, I felt like I was wronged because I couldn't see at that time that it was not the right situation for me anyways. I wanted it, but I, I didn't realize that it wasn't right, you know? And then, so it fell apart in a very brutal way so that I did not go back, okay? And, um, yeah, it, it's, it's a, you know, my shit can take years sometimes. So I don't know how long this has been going on, but let me just keep going. Show me the Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords. You know, this Scorpio, too, could have also been abandoned by someone. Like, decisive, focus, driven. I wonder what this is. Show me the Knight of Swords. The Sun. I don't know what to say, y'all. I feel like someone here needs to heal. The Sun and Temperance. That's like two healing cards. Someone may even need to speak to a therapist. Someone may need to go somewhere where it's sunny, warm. Someone here could also be like afraid to take action or to like open up with clarity, with fear of abandonment, especially if someone was abandoned as a child by a parental figure or something to that nature. Someone also needs to focus on their healing, focus on their happiness. Also, with this focus on their growth, because um, the Five of Pentacles can talk about negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges. So if this isn't like actual real challenges, it's like someone's fear of abandonment or negative thoughts are manifesting. It's like you need the Nine of Swords is focused and the Sun is like, Focused on positive shit, right? You need to be focused on positive shit, not negative shit or past shit. Show me the moon. The Empress. Give me this, okay, give me this Knight of Swords. Eight of Wands in the reverse. It's like someone's delaying some type of forward movement, progression, and I feel like it's stemming from fear. Someone may also be fearing commitment or fearing like, 
if this is like someone may also feel like somebody how do you say this like with this i uh you are the love of my life it's like somebody may feel like someone is wish fulfillment nine of cups seven of pentacles four of wands someone here is very stable um has a lot of fertility a lot of growth around them so it causes someone to feel like insecure with the moon or some type of fear and so when this person like goes to reach out i feel like they they like delay themselves or there's some type of a block here because they need to heal some type something show me this eight of cups see and i left you before you could leave me the timing just wasn't right for us so, and my life is not together as it seems. I feel like someone here is like, needs to do some type of shadow work. Show me the Eight of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Let me one more. Someone here may also fear what their mother will say. I know that's weird, but someone here may also fear what their mother will say or like. Yeah, someone's mother could be blocking somebody from coming in. What the hell? Some mother could have told someone to walk away from you. I don't know. Show me this uh, Queen of Pentacles. Who's this? Who that? Who that? Five of Cups. Who am I reading for? Scorpio. Scorpio. Yeah, someone here I feel like regrets walking away. I left you before you could leave me. Oh, yeah. Someone here, someone here regrets walking away. The Queen of Pentacles, I kind of feel like is you. Who's this Empress? What's this energy? The Hermit, someone who's older. Or wise could be a Virgo, Taurus, Libra. Or someone here could have ghosted someone out of fear. Again, don't pay no attention to no gender. Okay, this could just be someone who's older, wiser, maybe a maternal figure. Someone could have ghosted someone out of fear. I already said that, didn't I? Someone regrets it, though. Someone here is very stable, nurturing, loyal, committed, fertile, loving, whatever. I could say a bunch of things, but generous, gracious, beautiful. All right. Let's get three romance angels. What else do you want to tell Pisces? Dealing with a Scorpio. Actually, hold on. I want to see. The Wheel of Fortune was on the bottom of the other deck too. So that talks about a positive shift. You know, something faded. A change of events. What is this Eight of Wands in the reverse though? The Five of Wands. The Three of Wands. I don't know. Five of Wands is some type of conflict, competition, competing. Three of Wands could be waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, or someone's like. Someone could be delaying something, trying to avoid a conflict. Five of Wands.
for some, something may have to do with some type of legalities or finances that someone may owe someone money at a distance or something like that. So it's delaying someone's forward movement or it's like somebody wants to come in and communicate and take action or someone may communicate, but they may like, um, when it comes to the action part of it, they're not taking action. It's just like all talk. That could be a thing too, because maybe there's something going on financially. Someone could also be paying a lawyer for some type of advice or, or it doesn't even have to be a lawyer, but paying somebody for like some type of advice or something about something going on at a distance. Someone could be saying something. I felt, I almost feel like there's someone in someone's ear almost. I keep going back to that. It's like somebody may be like dropping seeds or if, okay. And if somebody is connected to, I seen that earlier. If someone here is connected to someone else, like financially, like that's okay. I got to get my thoughts together before I start flapping my gummies. Um, if someone is living with someone else because it's, but they're like on the ends or on the outs or something or, and I don't know who it is, another person. We do have a queen of swords showing up here, but somebody may be like doing something because it's like logical or it's like um, for like some type of generosity, but there's con like, that's where the conflict is. That's where the delay is. Or someone could even be like worried about someone starting some shit because of some type of financial ties or what they'll have to pay to get out of a situation or what they'll lose getting out of a situation. This is crazy. Okay, show give me three romance angels. I don't know if I touched on that earlier. I think I was going through them when I got sidetracked, but I see it again, so. Unrequited love. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. It did come out in the reverse. So. Mm. And healing family issues. I told you the love of your life benefits. Oh my God. Did you just hear me? Maybe that's where I got it from. Okay. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. <laughs> the love of your life. Oh. Maybe somebody was saying like this is unrequited, telling someone like you can't be with that person. They're they're just gonna leave you anyway, or something like that. Like they're just gonna ghost you anyway, instilling some type of fear into somebody. I don't know. Healing family issues as your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I did say something about that. Give me one more, please, for Pisces dealing with a Scorpio. Pisces. Dealing with a Scorpio. Last card. No? I don't think I'm going to get one. We got wedding on the bottom. Let's get one card for Pisces. You guys are getting a long ass reading. Give me one for Scorpio, please. Y'all be sure to hit the like button. I've been putting my, my foot in these readings. All right. So Pisces, you got the wolf, Pathfinder. Release your past and start a new journey. You are the teacher and help others find their way. There will be challenges, but your soul is strong. Perseverance is your secret power. You have a love that endures. Okay. So I don't know if you're teaching somebody something here or the roles could be reversed. I don't know. Take it or, you know, whatever it means to you. Unicorn, infinite possibilities. You are the so sovereign, sovereign of the seen and the unseen worlds. The magical love surrounds you. Beauty transforms you. 
Listen to the spirits of the light, abandon the darkness, go beyond the ordinary, and become the legend. We have a fucking magical unicorn. Butterflies, transform. So something here about transformation may be significant. Believing in the impossible, being that leader uh, to set, you know, other people into motion. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to leave this reading here. I hope it helped. I hope it gave someone clarity, guidance, inspiration, hope, whatever. Let me know if it did. If you guys want a personal, info will be in the description box below. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.